Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am, uh, mm, ah, just over here enjoying some private barrel, and I felt like this was a perfect time to sort of revisit what I started talking about in the one video uh, where I was discussing private barrel and why I chose to put what I did on the back label. So in that video, uh, I just basically talked about how some of these suppliers had barrel programs um, for their barrel picks. And I briefly touched on what is a private barrel. <laughs> well, the short answer to that is private barrel, has, I'm sorry, not private barrel, single barrel. Single barrel has no meaning whatsoever. You can put single barrel on anything you want. Now, most suppliers aren't that bad. Uh, now, if you, the only sort of um, uh, federal government regulation, and I don't know if it actually was put into place, but the only thing that was ever proposed was that the age of a single barrel had to be the age of its original barrel, right? It's original barrel. What the fuck? What is this original barrel? What? It's, it's, a, it's a single barrel. It's coming out of the barrel and it's going into the bottle, right? That's what a single barrel is. No, that is wrong. Right? I mean, that's what mine are. So that's why I did it as a private barrel only so that everybody's under the understanding that each barrel is completely unique and this flavor profile may never be repeated again because that is the nature of a true single barrel. Like I said, I have, now I have probably gone through 250 single barrels uh, since we've started and none of them have tasted the same. Similar never the same so why would the federal government say the age has to stop at the time that it leaves its original barrel right okay well this is this is why so all single barrels when they're real they're going to be different now if you're going to the store and you say i like this brand single barrel and every time you get it it tastes exactly the same this is what they're doing they're blending Right, they're blending into a tank, they're dumping a bunch of barrels into a tank like you would for anything else. And before bottling, they put it in a new barrel, right? If you're putting it into a new American oak barrel, it's still bourbon. It still spent its entire life in a new American oak barrel. And there's no, you know, to be bourbon, there's, there's no time, it doesn't, no, there's nothing anywhere that says how long it has to stay in a new barrel. There's only things that talk about age, right? It, minimum, so if it hasn't been in a barrel for four years and a day, you have to put an age statement on it, but there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing that regulates that it's been in a barrel for four years and a day, you blend it in a tank, and then you put it back into a new barrel, it can be in that new barrel for three seconds. You can just put it in, dump it out, single barrel. It doesn't matter if you've blended together 10 barrels or a thousand barrels or a hundred thousand barrels. If you put it in a new American oak barrel, it can still be called bourbon and it's still, it's a single barrel because it's been bottled from a single barrel. And that's why the TTP regulations now say that the aging stops at the time it leaves its original barrel. So this is my this is my, my video on uh, what a single barrel is. And what it is is whatever a supplier wants it to be. Because really, there's no regulation that says it's got to be bottled out of a single barrel at all. You can do anything. I can put single barrel on any single one of my expressions, and I would totally be within um, the, the federal regulation guidelines. I would not be breaking any laws, any false advertising, nothing. So, uh, and so this is the first video I've done in a while. The reason for that is I have no bottles right now. None. Zero. I am waiting on bottles. I've been waiting on bottles since the middle of March they were supposed to be here. Everything's taken forever, you know, because of the, uh, the COVID. And uh, I've been told end of this month, which I don't really believe anymore. I think it's going to be the first week of next month. Looking at the date now, it's the 22nd. You never know. Um, it only takes a day to, for my bottles to get run through, and then uh, it's like two to three days for the wax to dry. The glass is here, we just need the labels and the wax. So, that's why there's no uncut, unfiltered out there right now, 
It's because I don't, <laughs> I don't have any bottles to put it in. We've got, so you can see these barrels behind me, those are all empty. Anything on this barrel head here is gonna be empty. These are all private barrel picks here. Uh, we're gonna start sending out samples, but private barrel, the reason there hasn't been any since like, I don't know, October, is because I've been out of bottles. Uh, even small batch now, I'm getting small batch bottles at the same time. We're even out of small batch bottles right now. We're out of everything, it's crazy. So hopefully, Bottles will show up soon. The, you guys will be able to find barrel picks again. You'll be able to find uncut, unfiltered again. Believe me, I miss uncut, unfiltered. I'm tempted to like do blends, but I'm, I'm even getting more barrels because the last barrel pull was mainly barrel pick barrels. So the barrels I'm gonna get are gonna be different than the ones I have for blending. So I can't even really do an uncut blend right now. So uh, I know this kind of diverted from what we were talking about, which was single barrels and private barrel. But that, just thought I'd give you guys a, a follow up on the bottle situation over here and why you can't find uncut unfiltered right now. So that's it, take it easy.